I've got some airbag stuff. This looks a bit squashed. I hope it survived. Hmm. Let's find out. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, let's open this up. See what's in here. It's a bag inside a bag. Alright, there's another bag. Oh, excellent. These are high current self resetting circuit breakers. So, 50 amp rated. Now, I've got one of these in my motorhome already, and it's failed. It's well, it's a 40 amp one, but it's failed. And um, I need to put one of these in. So, I've got one. Well, I've actually got two, the same ones, both 50 amps. Now, I can buy these things locally, well, kind of. I can only buy 40 amps locally, so these are 50 amp rated. And the problem is that I'm charging um, house batteries in the motorhome uh, when the, from the engine itself. So I've got solar power, which is like 700 watts of solar energy, but when it's bad weather and we're driving, I want to top the battery up as well, you know? So um, it's got a 40 amp limit on it, and that's failed. And really, 40 amps is a little bit on the lean side. I could use slightly higher. The cable can handle it. So there's no reason why I can't up that slightly. So I've, I've changed to 50 amps now. So these will, at 50 amps or so, because it's got a bi biometallic strip in there, it will turn off you know, thereabouts, you know, so it's just some kind of overload margin there. And then it will, when it cools down again, it will re-energize itself. And the one that's already in the bus is worn out, so it needs replacing. It's tripping after about 10 amps or so. It's, it's tripping out then. So it's like, okay, time for a new one. Oh, it's in this one. Oh, nothing. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. On the packaging here, it said, I'll show you. Silicone lubricant. Now, my wife probably got all excited if she saw that, but no, it's not It's not that. It's, it's for, like, mechanical silicone lubricant. Yeah, I don't think you want to use that on the wife. Anyway, moving on. What's this one? Well, that's silicone grease. You see, it's called Night Core, which is obviously meant for like torches, Night Core torches, isn't it? But it's just silicone. It's just, it was cheap. This is some AliExpress thing here, so there'll be links down below if you need this sort of stuff. But there's been times when I needed to lubricate plastic parts. And um, this is more like Vaseline, really, this one. Block of grease again. Sometimes you just need to lubricate plastic parts, and you can't use oil for that, you have to use silicone. So, or silicone, silicone, I don't know, you want to pronounce it, whatever. So, there's two of those, and this is a Nikkor one, which is supposed to be, I don't know, it's branded and everything. Let's have a look inside it, shall we? Try and look inside it. It's basically the same stuff. So yeah, I thought I'd get a couple of those, give them a go, might be handy. In times I needed to lubricate plastic parts and haven't had the chance to do it. It's in here. So thanks to my Patreon who helped support me, helping to buy things from Mailbag. Keep this channel going. Look at these. Some screws of some kind. Crosshead screws, ah, oh, okay, I know what these are. These are for MacBooks. These are actually the screws which oh, I'm not getting out of bag. These are the screws which hold in the hard drive. So it's, this is like a hard drive mounting bracket in the MacBooks. I haven't got anything to hand, so I was I'll show you. Um, and it just holds it's held in by two screws, but the screws can't be too long, otherwise they'll damage the casing, they'll bottom out and damage the casing. If they're too short, they won't work, obviously, because they won't make contact. And trying to find the right screws, it's been a little bit of a pain. So I found some from China, from AliExpress, obviously like salvaged parts, but that's fine. So I've got a few in there. I think I was only four or six, something like that. I've got not a huge amount, but it's going to be plenty, I think, for what I need to do. And this thing, now, the question is, did it survive? Hmm. That's from UT Source. I use UT Source from time to time for parts when I have trouble getting them from anywhere else. UT Source is Chinese, so you never quite know what you're getting, but I haven't had any problems yet. I've just saved my bacon a couple of times with hard to find parts. 
So we'll see how we go. No, it looks like it's fine. It looks like it's fine. All right, bubble wrap. So I thought, well, I'm getting some parts, so I might as well get a few things. Or oh, bubble wrap. Who doesn't like doing that? Chinese air. Yeah, okay. Right. So what did I get? Uh, BD140, because I didn't have any. BD132. LM723CH. I, did ha I do already have some of these, but not many. Um, BD131. Again, I didn't have any of those. BD135. LM741, because I was getting low, didn't have many of them. Probably get a bit closer, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. And these things here, which are BFW16A. Now these, you can see I've got 10, which is way more than I need at the moment, but you never quite know what you're going to do in the future. These are for this board sitting in the background here, which you've seen in a few Marbag videos now. Um, sitting there waiting. Because I've been waiting for these parts. Only one of these do it on this board to replace this one here which is blown. So, yep. Now I've got the parts. I just hope they actually are genuine parts or at least compatible fakes. You never quite know, but UT Source has always been good. I've never had any problems so far. I know that some people have said they've had issues, but I haven't. I've been lucky, I think, or, or I don't know, maybe the bit of the people are mistaken. I really don't know. Anyway, I'll find out soon enough. If you've used UT Source, let me know how you found it. Um, so, like I said, I've no problems. So I'll see you next time. Have a chat down in the comments down here. So, thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Um, much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair that kind of thing. Any money goes goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without, or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and, um, you know, contribute to the channel, um, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time, I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained. Yeah, if you want to support me, that's great. Um, of course, that certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Click the bell icon. Bye.